हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज़ अ मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी हाउ टू फाइंड मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी इन अ आर के आर स्टूडियो सो फर्स्ट वी गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू फाइंड मीन ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक डेटा ओके इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टेकन द इंडिविजुअल डेटा ओके सो द डेटा इज लाइक ट्वेल्व सेवन थ्री फोर पॉइंट टू एटीन टू फिफ्टी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन एट माइनस फाइव वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड वॉट द मीन मीन ऑफ दिस डेटा ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड मीन ऑफ द डेटा यू नीड टू एंटर दिस और यू नीड टू सेव दिस डेटा इन टू वन स्पेसिफिक वेरिएबल ओके सो हियर वी टूक एक्स एज दैट वेरिएबल ओके सो एक्स इज अ योर वेरिएबल नेम असाइनमेंट सिम्बॉल मीन्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर द Uh, values into the x okay we are using c function because we have multiple values okay c in bracket we given the data each data is divided is a uh, separated by a comma okay and then close the bracket after that we going to apply the mean function to find the mean of the uh, data okay so here we going to save the data in result mean so whatever the mean of this series it will get stored where it will get stored in your result dot mean variable okay then we going to directly write your function name that is mean so the mean function is used to find mean of the data okay so mean function now then we going to pass the variable to this function so where is your data stored your data is stored in a x variable that's why in bracket x okay remember mean is your function okay then we going to print the result okay means what you will get your mean so i'm going to execute these lines okay are you able to see this in the console this is what the output of your अबाउ कोड ओके सो वी क्रिएटेड अ वेरी वी स्टोर द डेटा इन एक्स वेरिएबल आफ्टर दैट वी हैव स्टोर द वैल्यूज और वी फाउंड द मीन ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक डेटा ओके सो यूजिंग मीन फंक्शन एंड दिस इज अ मीन ऑफ य डेटा ओके देन वी गोइंग टू सी अनादर पैरामीटर्स ऑफ य function okay so trim is another parameter of your mean variable now what this trim is going to do trim is going to trim the data item from the starting and the ending part of your data okay so here you given the value as what 0.3 so it is going to uh, remove starting three values and ending three values from your data set okay before that your r is going to sort the data into ascending order okay so you going to so your r is going to sort the data into ascending order after that it is going to trim the uh, values from uh, your data set for example after sorting the data your uh, data will be like 2 3 right after that you have 4.2 then you have your next value so your data will start from minus 5 actually sorry minus 21 right then 5 minus 5 after that you have your next value as what 3 then you have next value as 4.2 then you have your next value as 7 after that you have next value 8 then 12 18 likewise you have your data okay after that it is going to trim the first starting three values and the ending three values from the data stream and then it is going to find the uh value for your mean okay now what is the formula for your mean your formula for mean is what total number of addition of your uh, data divided by how many number of observations are there in your data series for example over here originally you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 data items okay so for the first your value is divided will get divided by 10 after trimming the value your val addition or the summation of data set will be divided by uh, so 3 
uh, starting three values plus ending three values means what we are removing total six values from your data set so if we are removing six values and we have a 10 data item item so how many remaining values are there four values are there okay so the total of that middle four values divided by four okay and after that it will show you a result okay so let me show you the output of it so you can able to see that the output of this line is what 5.55 okay same way we have taken the next example so this is your data okay we have stored this data in a y variable we use c function to store the data right we we going to write the mean function and then we going to pass the value to what your mean function okay we store the data in a y variable that's why we are passing y variable for your mean function whatever the mean of that y series it will get stored where in y underscore mean after that we're going to print that y underscore mean okay so let me show you the execution of this code again so the mean of your this data item is what 1665 okay same way we're going to find the median your mean means what average now what do you mean by your median median is the middlemost value of the data series okay so here is your data series again we're going to store this data series where in your x variable okay and just we use a mean function to find the mean of the data items we're going to use the median function to find the median of the, your data okay again this series is what this series is your individual series okay so same logic is there it just that we change the function name previously we use mean now we're going to use median why because we want to find the value of median okay so and we're going to store the result or the output in result underscore median variable and then we're going to print it okay so see the output is what 9.5 okay after that this is the second question same way we store the data in a series okay we're going to uh, refine oh, sorry store the result in a underscore median and then we're going to apply the median function and then we're going to print that result okay after execution you'll be able to see the median is what 58 now the step for median is are what we're going to assort the data in ascending or descending order and then we're going to find the middlemost value right same way r is going to perform that sorting internally okay so r is going to sort the data after that it is going to apply that median function okay now your r has a inbuilt function for mean and median okay for mode we don't have any function inbuilt function okay so we need to create one function for uh to find your mode now what do you mean by mode mode means your most frequently occurred data item in the series okay so just ka frequency zyada rahega wo that is what your mode okay so we're going to create a function for it okay now here this is a code for your gate mode okay we created a function to find what mode okay so the gate mode is what your function name okay gate mode is what your function name same as your mean and mode okay but this gate mode is what user defined what do you mean by user defined we defined this function okay so that's why it is called as a user defined function so gate mode is what your function name okay then your assignment symbol after that we're going to write a function keyword so that your r will come to know that whatever uh, you're going to return next you're going to write next it will be what a body of your function and the function name is what gate mode okay now for this function we are passing one value that is what v okay so whenever you're going to uh, write a function name that is gate mode in bracket any value it will get stored in this v variable okay now we open a curly brace means what this is a uh, we going to start the body for your function okay after that we are writing a uv variable okay uv variable uh, so first we'll discuss what are the steps for your mode for an individual series so how we find the mode for an individual series first we write a unique values of the series okay then we're going to uh, put the tally marks right and then we're going to count the frequency of that tally marks and then uh, 
वॉट एर द फ्रिक्वेन्सी सो द नंबर इज हैविंग मोर फ्रिक्वेन्सी दैट इज वॉट योर मूड राइट तो सेम वे योर यूनिक फंक्शन इज गोइंग टू फाइंड द यूनिक वैल्यूज फ्रॉम योर डेटा सीरीज ओके सो द यूनिक फंक्शन इज वॉट दिस इज यूनिक इज वॉट योर फंक्शन दिस यूनिक फंक्शन इज गोइंग टू फाइंड द यूनिक वैल्यूज ऑफ योर वी वैक्टर ओके एंड इट विल गेट स्टोर्ड वेर इन यू वी वेरिएबल ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वी गोइंग टू प्रिंट दैट यू वी ओके आफ्टर प्रिंटिंग दैट वी हैव to for solve some questions right so uh, you have your tabulate and match okay we'll discuss this one okay so uh, we're going to start from the inner function okay and then we will go move to the outer functions so in the uh, inner most you have a match function now what match function is going to do we pass ma uh, two parameters for your match function that is v and uv okay in v you have your uh, vector in which your data item is stored and uv are what unique values okay so match function is going to match the v and uv values after that it is going to tabulate it again tabulate is a what another function after tabulating it you going to write a next function that is what which max so after tabulating which ma which dot max function is going to find which is the uh, maximum frequency of a v vector and this function is going to return that maximum value and if Uh, means it is going to return you what the mode value so i'm going to execute this function okay we have created a successfully function then we want to find the un mode for this values okay so we are going to store these values in suppose n variable using what your c function right after that i'm going to store the mode uh, result in n underscore mode right after that i'm going to call the gate mode function i'm going to pass the n variable because i want to find the mode for this vector right and this vector is stored in n so i'm going to pass that n to your gate mode okay and then i'm going to print it okay so are you able to see yes your n mode is what 80 okay 80 is what your mode value over here wait so your mode value is what 2 and these are these are what your unique value, values 2 1 3 4 5 so are you able to see you have 2 1 3 4 5 okay so in that unique numbers 2 occurs most of the time that's why 2 is what your mode same way we can find the mode of a character string also okay so same way we going to write store the values into cv and then we going to pass that cv to your gate mode and then we going to print the output of it so unique values are what a uh, uh, it and the and in this sequence it is uh, occurred most of the time so if you are able to see a is occur only 1 2 3 times it occurs 1 2 3 four time and the occurs only two time so it is obvious that it is what your mode so same way here you get your output as what it okay after that we going to find the next question so suppose this is the data we are using scan function to find the mode okay same way we going to find the mode for the next series also so over here your 35 is what mode for the function more for the above series okay thank you